guys, Mike Deathbeam here, once again, and today we are starting our TARDIS adventures. The TARDIS has taken us to a world, or if you want to call it a map, known as Arrival. And I'd say that we've been attacked. Let's read note one. You wake up from being knocked out. You wake up from being knocked out and you hear explosions and destruction all around you. Someone begins to speak to you. Captain, Captain, wake up! The Naldorian ship hit us. We've taken too much damage. We're going down. We need to find a way out, out of here. You you quickly put on a spacesuit. The man talking to you is named Private Smith. You and Smith appear to be the only survivors of the attack. You have to find an, an escape pod. You recall that your team, the crew of the SS Utopia, was sent on a mission to protect a human ship, the SS Unity, from the Naldorians, a race of reptilian humanoids that were attacking the ship you were trying to protect. The ship was being attacked near Normus, a planet in the Norterris system. When, when you got there, the ship was already destroyed. And when you arrived, the Naldorians opened fire on you. They used a laser beam shot that you had never seen before, and it tore holes in the side of, side of your ship. What kind of technology was this? The the Utopia is going down, though. You, the Utopia is going down. So you need to escape and report back to command at Finium, the main space station in the Sidaris system, and the center of human command. Always on peaceful unless told otherwise. Also, make sure you go into video settings in the in the options menu and turn off clouds. Well, I already have all that off. Okay, so let me just make sure... Yeah, peaceful. Alright, so we have got to get out of here. And so guys, the TARDIS brought me here. I guess it... I guess it figured that they... That they needed our help. And my TARDIS is special. Because it, uh... It, uh inserts me into the storyline. So I, I just don't get teleported there. I'm like, where'd you come from? I'm there for a reason. Well, there goes the rest of that ship. Of course, my view is frozen. My Minecraft is frozen. Okay. There we go. Let's see where where we're going. So, uh, yeah. So our TARDIS. So it looks like that we're going to be helping them defeat their enemy. So, so the TARDIS brought us here because I guess they need our help. I guess that they can't destroy it without us. Oh, look us. I think that. Whoa, glowstone. Ooh, maybe it's a star. I think we may be a little bit too close. But then again, you know it's Minecraft, so you know. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's cool to have the TARDIS brought us here. I don't know where the TARDIS is going to take us next, but this, but this world is known as, as a rival, so. Yeah. Whoa. Huh? <coughs> oh dear. I'll just take it with me just in case we need it. Read Info 8. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, let's read Info 8. I know there's going to be a lot of reading in this series, but... Or... This, uh... Uh... This world. Okay, so we need 8 and 9. Info 8 and 9. The Sidaris system is home to Finium Station, and is the center of Earth of I mean, and is the center of Human Space Command. Let me make this a little easier to read.
Sorry about this, I'm just trying to make it a little easier to read. Boy, this is long. Holy cow. Okay, you know what? I'll just start reading. The Sidera system is home to Finium Station and is the center of Human Space Command. Its main star is called Centrum. The, the Sidera system became the center of Human Command when humans discovered the ability to go faster than light, and space travel became practical. The first beyond light speed trip brought humans here when they decided, decided to explore in a random direction. Well, that sounds smart. And they found the Sidera system, a system about 105.7 million light years away from Earth. Humans found that the Sidera system was a good system to start the space operations, mostly because of the planet Ferrum. Ferrum is a planet in the Sidera system, and, and it has many mineral resources. These resources were used to help build Finium Station, and some resources were sent back to Earth. The resources mined from Ferrum helped boost Earth's economy and allowed for the building of better spacecraft. At the start, Earth was the center of human space command, but after a while, the people of Earth felt that too much money was being spent on the space program, and not enough on Earth itself. So Earth decided that Finium would become the center of all human space operations. However, Earth would remain the leader of humans and all decisions had to be cleared by Earth. Finium is now a thriving station. Finium orbits around Sidera's main star, Centrum, as do the planets of Sidera's. The first planet is in the Sidera system is Ferrocene. Ferrocene is a small barren planet with nothing of interest on it. It is similar to Normus in the Norterra system, but is much smaller than Normus. Another planet is uh, Anulium. Anulium is a gaseous planet that has rings. It has much smaller than it is much smaller than your average gas giant giant planet. An Anulium is mined for helium often. The last planet in the Sidera system is Ferrum. Ferrum is an uninhabitable planet, but it is very rich with resources, especially iron, hence the Fe, if anybody got that, which I got that when I was reading it. Yay, smart me. <laughs> but it is very rich with resources, especially iron. As stated earlier, Ferrum helped build Finium Station because it was heavily mined when humans first arrived in the Sidera system, and the iron found there was used in Finium's construction. Despite being heavily mined in the past, Ferrum cont continues to provide large amounts of iron and other resources for humans. All right, that does sound pretty interesting. Okay, I don't need that open, I can close that. No, I don't wanna do that. I'll just go like that. No. Okay, so let's go to Info 9. Hopefully this one isn't as long. The Norterra system is a fairly useless system, containing only one planet, Normus. It is the system between Sidera's, the human secondary system, and Sinvaka. Sinvaka, the Neldorians' main system. Notorus is often a battleground because of the humans and Neldorians' hatred for each other. The star of Notorus is called Neta-5. Notorus contains one planet only, Normus. Normus is a barren planet with nothing of interest on it. Because of Norteris's lack of resources or anything interesting, it only serves the purpose of being middle ground between the humans and the Neldorians, and metal and many battles between the two races ha are fought here. Hmm. Well, then I'd say that for military reasons, it probably would, would be a good idea to have a base there. <laughs> Personally, but, you know. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and head in here after all that reading.
Right now we read note two. So note two. You enter the space station and Smith looks at you and says, "We need to we need to go talk to the commander here in Finium. We have to report what happened so that we can launch, a, so so that we can launch a counterattack." Sorry, let me reread that. We need to go talk to the commander here in Finium. We have to report what happened so we can launch a counterattack. Find the commander of Finium station. He is located in the government area. All right. Well, I guess that's what that's what we're gonna go do. But this is pretty cool how it was built. I mean, it's cool with the glass and everything. I mean, because if, if I could have my uh my view on anything bigger than tiny, then I'd be able to look. This is pretty cool. Let's go see what these signs have to say. Well, signs aren't going to say anything. I'm very proud of you, son. Dad, are you in space? Yes, son. Now we are a family again. Space! I'm in space. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's random. Boy, that's that's quite random. Okay, so to planetarium. Guest quarters. government area. You know, why don't we go ahead and explore the other areas first? Just kind of see what, what else there is. I don't know what will be in the guest area, but we can still look. Plus, I, I don't think we, we really have time, since I can only record up to 15 minutes, to uh, look at the other areas. So, I mean, just go to the government area and talk. So we can go ahead and look here, and then we can do the other stuff. Centrum viewing platform. Cool. If I could see anything beyond two, uh, beyond uh, the two things, so yeah. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and look into these rooms? But this is really cool how the creator made this. Maybe they'll have stuff in the chest. Nothing in that one. You know, we probably should have chest a spaceship before before we left for chests. Yeah. Okay. This is a cool. These are some. This is cool. How how he added the detail of the guest room. Go ahead and go in here. Look in there. Nothing. Yeah, it, it, it's cool. It really is. And and that's cool how, how they have the whole storyline. They have a whole lot of information on the different planets. So who, whoever made this put put, a, put quite a bit of time into it because they created a whole storyline, whole history, whole science stuff. So this is like, so this could be a movie. <laughs> Not a very long one, but a movie. So I think that we'll go ahead and end it here for the first episode, and then uh, next episode I think we I think we'll go ahead and look into the planetarium. But I'm guessing that that's probably going to have a lot of reading since you know planetariums talk about the different planets and stuff. But that'll be cool. So we can go ahead and look at that, and maybe we'll talk about uh, the different uh, Neldorians, stuff like that. And then we can go to the government area, and then we can continue with our quest. And then maybe we can do an, an episode of just exploring around. If, of course, we can get into creative. But I don't know. But yeah, so I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and come back n next episode to see what happens next. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!